Hey the hell peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto, welcome to Her Story. There is not much I know about this game, except it has really good reviews, and it is kind of a detective game where you have to, do, to uh, search your way through a database to uh, clear a case, I guess. And this case is supposedly uh, Her Story. So, uh, let's find out what her story really is. So, okay, we have ourselves a desktop. We are logged in as guests. Okay, and so we have to search through archive footage to clear a case, I guess. Search terms murder. Okay, let's search that. Okay, so there are some things we can look at. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay, so someone got murdered. Yeah, that's me. February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Okay, Simon's murder. Simon got murdered. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay, and she's the suspect. So is she his wife? I'd like to speak to the lawyer now. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Okay. No murder weapon. Okay. What do we have here on the desktop? What does that do? Shows us the time. Okay. Wonder if that will do anything. Rubbish bin. Hack.nfo. Radio. Okay. One for the moms here. Classic two-player strategy for lunchtime gaming. Enjoy. So, I can't really read that. Cracks with class. <laughs> the lighting effects on the screen are really cool. What does it say? Grow some something? Heck. Okay, what is this? A game. Player one's turn. Peep. Peep, peep, peep. And oh. Well, I'm gonna just click until the field is full, I guess. Don't really know this game. It somehow captures all the stones in line. Okay. 
This is here. Okay, if I start that again, okay, it restarts, okay. Really read me. Mm, let's go, yeah, let's check that out. Hey, here's the database. I filed a Freedom of Information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos of the original tapes in 1999 and then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with detectives footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. But figured this would be enough. Take your time. Okay, thank you. So, there is a case from... Okay. Okay, from before 97. Introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to di digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be the most valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkit. Supposedly right. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word. Example given robbery into the search field. Click search and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. Okay, that's interesting. To narrow a search, use multiple words. For example, give a robbery supermarket. If you're working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. Yes, I was there. Okay, that's cool. To store a clip for later the reference, click Add to Session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click in the User Tags box and type in your desired tags. For any further assistance, please contact your department's Information Technology representative. Police Information Technology Organization. Okay, thanks a lot. So, that is really cool. Database checker. One volume missing. Okay. Well then, there seems nothing more on the desktop. So we might as well search some new things. Then let's try out robbery. Okay, no robbery. So, Simon. He's the victim, right? Okay. 61 entries. Okay. Access limited to first five entries. Let's just watch. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. 
really beautiful things. Okay. Ernst Brothers. Okay, let's just have them. Are they saved? Okay. Um, Sam is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. <laughs> I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, it isn't. And bought a photo instead of spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. He grows a ginger beard. Okay, let's yeah, let's type ginger beard. You never know what this is gonna be good for. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Sam likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Okay, Peter. Who's Peter? Let's... Uh, barmaid Helen. Let's note that. Yes. There's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know. And uh, save the princess, that kind of thing. Okay, let's games. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So, what do we do next? Okay, so this is when he disappeared and uh, she she was talking to the police. That was the 18th of June, 94. Okay. Okay, so Simon disappeared. And... Uh, Later was found dead. And now... It's now. Uh, then the police arrested her for the murder. Okay, let's just... Let's, let's, let's search for... Okay, let's, let's see if she's the wife. Uh, Must Eric be right. Like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other. Especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other. Especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Eric and Diane. Diane. Okay. Conferences. So Eric and Simon went to conferences together. What are they? Well, she has a knife. But, um, she's been cooking. I guess she's been cooking him his favorite meal. Um, she's his wife. Um, he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. Ooh, okay, what is this photo? That's just... Keep that as photo. 
and not me. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come over for dinner. Ah, that his would boss. That would be us returning favour. Diane is a really good cook, into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe off Seafax, and I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Eric is his boss, is Simon's boss, and they, yeah. We're coming over to dinner and shit. You're reaching here. <coughs> oh, I don't know why. No, I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. But I have my baby to care for. Okay. Why are you so sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? Strong motives. You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? Well, 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 well. Okay, so Simon is dead, supposedly. They have a child. I think they have, yeah. It must, she must be his wife, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did she say her name? Does anything say her name? Didn't I catch that? Mm, doesn't matter anyway. What did your wife do? She didn't kill me. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him! Okay, let's Glasgow. She was in Glasgow for doctor's appointment, I guess, to check for her baby. So his disappearing, Simon's disappearing, took place between the 18th of June and the 1st of July, 94. Okay. Okay, let's see. That turns something up. The body. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you that I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... She found the body, okay. Okay, shortly. Well, some near the 27th. Okay, she found it. Where did you find it? It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother said. She'd been speaking about old stuff, sad stuff, about when we lived there, about the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. Oh, 
I went down there with a the torch and went straight to the back. And that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. Okay, she found him in the cellar under a pile of boxes. So at first look, that uh, makes her seem to be innocent to me. Because uh, if she had killed him, she would have got rid of the body, I guess. And I also don't... I, I kind of don't think that she's the murderer. But let's see. Let's look deeper into this. His body. It didn't look real. And his throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. It doesn't always work. Okay. He doesn't always wear his glasses, but his throat was cut. Really? Okay. Here's the rest. Why is she playing that to the police? Well, they're bored. There's a murder going on. Come on, guys. Take it serious. Okay, I hope there isn't some piece of evidence hidden in that song. Indeed. Why, why, why? What's with police in 94? My god. Okay, uh, b -b 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 wind and rain was the song. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. Oh, that was creepy. Oh my god, don't do that. 
Uh, okay, Hannah. Is that your sister or? Let's see. Oh my god. Please, no more scares. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. Whoa, 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 wait. It's Poundre. They're used the same backwards as forwards. It's yeah. It's like America. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, we get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Sure. Wait, wait. She's... I thought it was all the same person. Let's just go back here. Really quick. Can you imagine? I tried. Aren't you, Hannah? I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys, men. My body refused. My name is Hannah. H A M S. She's the same, okay? Okay, that's your name. So. Okay, so are they twins? Is there two of you? Okay, so Hannah... So Hannah... is... Simon's wife. And she is supposedly her sister, and she wasn't able to get pregnant. Let's see. Is that a lie detector? Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, shit. Why? Did you lie? Let's just type in lie for lie detector. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. Okay. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Duh, that makes me shiver every time. Oh, God, fuck. Ah, bruh. Uh, please not. Please don't. Okay, okay, so... Uh, don't. So, she is Hannah's sister. I wonder if she is some sort of... Angry. Because she... Yeah. Because her sister obviously did uh, better. She could get pregnant and she couldn't. And should is more. She was, uh, yeah, she was the dead one. Wonder if she 
is what we are searching for. Ugh. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. Oh, I don't she hid me dolls. up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Dolls in the attic, really? Oh my god. Okay, that wasn't so creepy. Okay! Yeah. Okay! Yeah, I think we are going to leave it here. So far, this is super cool. I like it super much. Being detective and all, and uh, searching all this footage. It's super minimalistic, but... Super intriguing and authentic, and I like it super much. So, if you haven't played it already, uh, try it out for yourself. It really is super cool. Yeah, and if you like this video, then uh, please subscribe and stick around for more. And I'll be happy to see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,